It was his gift, and he was the best. What I'm saying is just assume that this guy can hear and see everything that you're doing. He's a born tactician. Every move that he makes, it means something. That's a pawn being moved off the board. And if I were you, I'd be looking for the next piece. No, you can't stop him. What's up, people? Welcome to another episode of Supreme Decisions, and I would like to thank everybody that's donating and chiming in. Wait till the end because I got something a little different today that I'm gonna give you. But today I wanna talk about something and it deals with the right to counsel. Notice I didn't say the right to an attorney or blah, 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 any of that dumb shit that you often hear. But the actual right to counsel. Now, what most people forget or don't even know is the fact when the constitution was written, several of the authors of the constitution itself was written by attorneys it was signed by attorneys but when you are looking at the quote-unquote restrictions that are placed upon the government through the constitution it reads you have the right to counsel many of us that are privy to have the ability to read and comprehend you look at or look up the word counsel and you see things such as one learned in law one that's educated in law it does not say attorney and you often hear people say oh do you have the license to be an attorney what they're asking you is are you a bar member and most people believe that you have to be a member of a club to have some sort of representation most people don't understand the first actual defender for a child would be their parents or their quote unquote legal guardian. They are the first source of counsel because they are the ones that are guiding them through the process. And I'm going to leave it off today with Edwards v. Arizona 451 US 477 1981. And basically it held that once a suspect requests counsel, the police or the prosecutor may not subject the subject to further interrogations until counsel is made available. This is one of the things that was brought up um, in the discussion that Tommy Sotomayor was having on his channel in regards to the Central Park Five because you had children that were the age of 14, 15, and one 16 year old that were being questioned for 14 hours without rest and without substance without food they kept changing the temperatures of the room they kept turning the lights on and off they kept lying to them and to which they then forced them to sign things that was not there and refused them counsel and refused them access to their parents because they were looking for a conviction versus actual doing police work and they justified this by convicting these men for 10 plus years and then when it came up that the there was an actual one assailant which the woman had described or people that were around in the era described one assailant a man confessed to details that was only known to the, the um the actor of the events not released to the press and they still did not want to release these men even knowing they had did the wrong thing but they had also there was a caller that called in the Tommy show that was looking for justification for one, the police interrogating a child for 14 hours. He was looking for justification for the police to refuse him counsel. He was looking for justification for the police to refuse him or them, their parents. When in fact, these are the things that they cannot do. This is a restriction that is placed upon them because just like I stated before, an interrogation by <laughs> just by happenstance is created as a tactic to coerce and deceive and it's if you have any coercion it is illegal 
So these are one of the things that was brought up. And even I've had someone tell me that um, because I am not a bar member, that there's no way I could have represented anyone in any hearing, even though I had spoke about two that I've done that actually had any type of relevance that actually meant anything. But on both of those, prior to me actually getting up and speaking, they were dismissed for whatever reasons, didn't have to do a whole lot. And the one other instance where I did it, it was in representation of a corporation, which I'll get into that later. But there's a case, McCoy v. Louisiana, 582 US, and it's a 19, uh, excuse me, it's a 2018 case. And guaranteeing a defendant's right to, a, to assistance of counsel for his or her defense is the defendant's prerogative, not the counsel. I'm gonna say this again. Guaranteeing a defendant's right to assistance of counsel for his or her defense is the defendant's or the client's prerogative, not the client. This is one that I had brought up previously because when you're paying someone to do a job for you, you are the employer, not the employee. They do not have an option of not listening to you. But again, even your defense is set because you are the one that's in charge, not the people that are directed around you, including public pretenders, I mean defenders. And counsels must follow instructions of the client. The Sixth Amendment guarantees a defendant the right of choice and to choose the objective of his or her defense and to instruct his counselor to refrain from admitting guilt even when the counsel's experience-based view is that the counseling that the confessing guilt offers the defendant the best chance to avoid the consequence, or in this case, the death penalty. Because when you're looking at it in its whole, it's understanding the choice is the right to counsel. And the counsel is to be done or instructed by the person in charge, the employer, which you are. Anytime that is obstructed, whether it's by the person that's choosing to represent you or you've chosen to represent you or the people that are supposed to be upholding justice if it's not done properly then you have an issue and with that issue there is a consequence because there are restrictions that are clearly established because there are a multitude of cases which i'll get into later that deal with this very instance that's all i got for right now i want to thank everybody that's been donating apple pay Google Pay, Samsung Pay now. So, but if you're gonna do Samsung Pay, you gotta let me know. Also, Google Pay, Venmo, Zelle, and my favorite, Cash App, because it comes with a ton of benefits. And as I showed you in a couple episodes prior, when you use it, we both get paid. So, use the link, man. Let's get it. And lastly, a new membership program is gonna be opened up to each and every one of you. It's gonna be multiple levels. So be on the lookout for that and don't forget the podcast. See you guys soon. Supreme.